very important if you're working on a six foot table and you're setting it up with all the equipment that PPS recommends, very important that you set it up in this order or else you're going to be moving things two or three times. I always start on the right hand side. We've taught everyone how to pour left handed. So we're going to start with the sodas which are going to be on the left hand side. So I want to get all my sodas up and juices. And remember, what we're doing is we're going to, we're, we're trying to make rails so everything has a home. So as I'm pulling some of this out, you'll see that I'm placing other things that eventually everything has to make it onto the table. But what I really need to find right now, we start with our juices, which we put in the storage for us. So we always do cranberry juice, orange juice, right to the end. And both uh, the nozzles are, are pointing out, so this way you can grab both of them and you can pour both of them. That's why we point them out that way, just like we do with the liquor. The last thing that we have, as far as sodas, is your club soda, in this case seltzer. Then we do ginger ale. And what you always want to do is have the label sticking out. We do the diet, cola, tonic, and then we do the coke. And now you take your six small bar mats and you line them off of the soda. So we start from the right. Okay, now you want to take your fruit tray and you want to line your fruit tray right off of your bar mat. So this gives you a line here. This is, you've already made one set of your rail with the sodas. If I have, take the Sprite, I have a place to put the Sprite. If I take a Sprite and a Coke, you're going to put it back the same way you picked it up. So your right hand goes to the right, left hand goes to the left, and everything has a home. You keep these straight, the label straight here, so the back here doesn't matter because the guest doesn't see that. Okay? Now we're going to set up our liquors. We always start, now that we have our, our tray, fruit tray here, now I work from left to right. We do bourbon first, or whatever your bourbon equivalent, sour mash. Next you would be your blend, in this case, Canadian Club. Then after that, we do scotch, tequila, Rum, your gin, and your vodka. That's why we go this way, because sometimes it doesn't line up. And you might have, in some cases, you might have another liquor. Maybe you would have another Captain Morgan or something like that. So then everything would go over once more. Okay, so you want your two rums together, because we try to keep it uniform that way. Then in the back part, we use our little cans of juices. So you have uh, grapefruit juice and pineapple juice. We put these on the side over here. Now we're going to do our front row. I'm just going to throw these all up here. Okay, we start from the right again. We always start from the end and work our way this way. So whatever, what I call the liquor du jour, right now it's pucker because people do apple teenies. A year from now, it could be uh, uh, pomegranate, or pomegranate martinis becoming more popular. Ten years ago, it was peach schnapps. Everyone was doing fuzzy navels. So this is just whatever seems to be the popular thing at the time. Then what we do is Bloody Mary mix. We do our sour mix next to the Bloody Mary. Then we do Rose's lime juice, triple sec. So except for this one on the end, we do our liquors together, triple sec, sweet vermouth, dry vermouth. These are going to be your red wines that you're working from. So if you're just using one red wine, there it is. But if you're using two, Merlot, this is my Cabernet. And I point the Cabernet to me. So if I'm looking at Cabernet, then I know that this is the Merlot. Okay, so you always, it doesn't matter which way you do it. 
just make sure that you're spacing you so you know if it's not this one, the other one is the other variety. Then we have our roses lime juice we put over here. I'm sorry, that's the, the roses um, grenadine. Excuse me. Our displays, we put it in the corner. So these are not working bottles. These are strictly for display, letting people know what we have behind us. So your beer tub's usually behind you or underneath. And the same thing with your white lines. And then the last thing that we put up are our shaker glasses. And we do these where the glass is underneath me reverse it because if you do it like this and you're shaking what's going to happen first of all you don't want to be going and get your fingers in here number one number two it's even if you do like that you're going to get sticky stuff all over you so we like to do it reverse because then you do it you can shake it and then when you're done pouring it you put it like that and you're not going to have any mess okay so that's the reason we do it that way two sets of bev naps over here for the clients you're going to put a set of bed naps over here for yourself and then what I like to do is take two rock glasses and I use one when I pop my beer so I have a place for my my beer tops and then the other one I like to keep my stirs and my picks okay and this is the way we set up the PBS bar